Hello Troublemakers, welcome into another Movie Commentary Monday. I'm actually shooting this part, the intro, the day after I actually shot the commentary. Why? Because the Dylan from yesterday was a bright-eyed child. He had no idea of what he was getting into. You see, this series, Until I Hate Myself, it's always tongue-in-cheek, right? I watch bad movies and then roast them. But I only watch it until the moment hits where I hate myself too much to continue. That's that's the concept. But it was always like a joke, right? I don't, I'm not actually gonna hate myself because of a movie. Or so I thought, until I watched Princess Protection Program. This movie gave me depression. I signed up for better help. Okay, that's not true, that's not true. And it didn't give me depression, it just made me depressed. It, it made me really, really sad. And that's not a joke. You ever get so sad and so depressed that you like talking is just is just too much work? That's what happened to me while I watched this movie. There were times when I knew I could make jokes, but my mouth was like, no, <laughs> I'm so sad right now. I don't even want to make a joke right here. It got to the point where I was like, I, I can't post this video. Like as I was recording it, I'm like, there's no, there's not gonna be enough material in this commentary to post a 20 minute video. Then I started to edit it and uh, there's something really funny about the video. I mean, there's some good, there's some really good jokes in there, but this video is just a little bit different than my other ones because like in the other ones, I'm roasting it and hating on it. But in this one, I'm actually, you can just see my descent into depression as the video goes on. And there's something funny about that. <laughs> it's like really dark, but it's actually really funny. So I decided I'm gonna post it anyways. If this is your first video of mine, there a lot of my videos are similar, but just they're a little bit more energetic because I'm not as depressed as I got today. <laughs> yeah, so maybe check out another video after this one because I'm not always like this, I swear. <laughs> oh, I oh, you bitch, you bitch. I can't even rent it. You're making me buy this. I'm gonna own the Princess Protection Program. Fucking... I don't know that my pride will let me. You'd think that it's better to own things, but it's actually a relief when the rental period is over when I watch bad movies, knowing that I have no access to that movie ever again. I guess we got no choice. Yeah, let's purchase this. I'm gonna do a chargeback. I'm gonna call my credit card company. <laughs> you think me, a grown 27-year-old man, would buy Princess Protection Program? <laughs> No, bank. Fucking charge that shit back. Call up Disney. Call up Walt Disney himself. And you tell him that I didn't buy this goddamn movie. What's that? He's dead? Well, he's lucky. Because he never had to watch this fucking movie. Holy hell. Oh, it's a Disney Channel movie. This better not be a musical. Oh, fucking hell. This is a Disney Channel movie. I literally said I'm not doing any more Disney Channel movies for a while. And especially not Disney Channel movies that were also musicals. Fucking hell. Fuck. Me. Hey, Croc. Oh, please eat one of the characters in this movie. Okay, I have hope. I have hope. We got some crocodiles. I don't know the difference between crocodiles and alligators. If someone gets on me in the conversation about the difference, I don't fucking know. Get out of here with your fucking nerdy animal knowledge. <laughs> hey, so... Demi? Who, which one is that? <laughs> She's wearing a hat I couldn't see. That's definitely Selena. Does she have a love interest 30 seconds into this movie? Oh, so this guy is way too old for you. How much? This dude is 24. Selena's like 16, maybe? Free bait in exchange for never having to take the bus again. Great. <laughs> he just a country boy. He trades that bait for free rides. See that homecoming dance thing yet? Dad, don't embarrass me. You're dead. My job. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they just don't expect your audience to understand anything. So there's like this adult-like figure. Pro you can just contextually, you can probably figure out that it's her dad. He's like, hey, wait a second. Yeah. So did he ask you to that homecoming dance thing yet? Dad. Dad. <laughs> and then you're dead. I'm your dad, audience. I'm his. I'm her father. Watch this movie, knowing I'm her father. We fucking get it, dog. Who rolls up in a convertible in the middle of a fucking forest? Um, there's no room for me. I'm sorry, Carter. Hey. Thanks for the bait. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. He just got free bait. That's so shitty. Bro, you just got free shit from her. You got it with the expectation that you would drive her to school. Douchebag alert. I'm not cheering for this dude. I know we're probably supposed to cheer for him to get together, but I'm not. 
He a douche. He a douche. You're leaving again? It's just a routine op. Yeah, that's what you always say. A routine op? What are you talking about? You run a bait shop. Just be careful, okay? What, is he a secret agent? Is this man a secret agent who runs a bait shop on the side? Is there even a market for a bait shop in this age? Oh, don't have a secret handshake with you. You and dad. me, pal. You and me, dad. <laughs> We're so close. We got a secret handshake, and we also say, you and me. Just to drive it home. We're fucking tight. Her Royal Highness. Her Royal Highness. Your adoring subjects, welcome you. <laughs> I hate this. I fucking hate this. He sold that everything. Fucking hell. Can I even? I think I might give up on this movie. <laughs> it's four minutes in. I think I'm done. But I purchased it. It's it. I own it. I, it's with me forever. They're gonna etch this on my tombstone. They're gonna bury me with the DVD of Princess Protection Program. <sighs> let's keep. Let's try. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's try a little bit harder. Now that my husband has passed away, only she can become <laughs> queen of Costa Luna. Hi, but it is so much for someone so <laughs> wait, young. Wait, wait, wait. Is this just the Princess Diaries in an alternate timeline? Is that what this is? Is this just like an alternate Princess Diaries? Let me, can I get the backstory again? Now that my husband has passed away, only she can become queen of Costa Luna. Face your subjects, Rosalinda. Why does everyone have an accent besides Demi Lovato? Toya Fiore, heir to the throne of Costa Luna. <laughs> you really dusting during the coronation? Like, uh, guys, I know this is a big, huge moment in our country's history, but that there's some dusty ass shit over there. I gotta take care of it. I can I see this again, dog? Let me make my dusting jokes. Fucking, what are you doing? <laughs> nice fucking throw, dog. That was so stupid, dog. You just threw a fucking sword at the princess. There's no guards. Where's that general dude who was here to fucking protect her? Seize that. Yes. Can we get some murder? But the stairs. Stairs just as efficient, dog. Go now! Yo, this is the weakest coup ever. What about my mother? She's gonna meet us, but we need to hurry. <laughs> She's. Please behead her. I need some death. Give me some death. Just a little, just a smidge of death. Where, where is this? Yes, yes, darling, yes. How did I she? To... What the fuck? What the fuck? The man starts a coup. Round them up. He's got support. One man holds off an entire coup? Also, why did they separate? Why did the general take Demi Lovato and the queen like went off on her own? If they're just going to meet back up... 20 seconds later. How the fuck is there not more chaos in the palace? How the fuck did they get away on foot? <laughs> to the bait shop! You're gonna helicopter into the ba Oh yeah, unnecessary slow-mo. Good. I'm glad you didn't shoot that with higher frames so that the slow-mo looked a little more crisp. No, making sure it looks really choppy, like it doesn't belong in a movie. And instead belongs in a shitty vlog from a YouTuber who has less than 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> you will never find <laughs> He's her. the most flamboyant general I've ever seen. I could not agree more. <laughs> I will take you and put you in the prison and take over this country. Why is my glove not off yet? This is a tight ass glove, fuck. <laughs> oh, he finally got the gloves off, dog. Prison? Not prison. Protection. You'll be safe now, Princess. Bro, what about your bait shop, though? Better get back. Business is booming, I would imagine. Can you explain what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What's the point of having her talk to you on video when you're just literally on the other side of the wall, and you can open the wall at any time? Why? What's the point? What's the point? First, you must go through stage three. Transformation. We just really gotta have a makeover scene. That's the point of this. I want to speak with Major Mason. I only trust Major Mason. Major Mason. Major Mason. Major Mason. Major Mason. Princess, I'm sorry, but General Kane has taken control of your country and assumed command of its government. He's so casual. He's a fucking major? He's a major suburban dad. Act like a fucking military dude. 
He just stuffs his hands in his pocket. She's fucking royalty. <laughs> this is not the position you take as a major. Good work. She looks the exact same. The whole purpose of her makeover was to make her look unrecognizable. She looks the exact fucking same with just a few inches less of hair. Dog, what are you doing? <laughs> Dye her hair at least. What are you doing? You just gave her a trim. Snip, snip, okay, no one will know. I, we took off this much hair, no one will ever recognize you. You'll be hiding in plain sight. They'll look at a picture of the princess and then look at a picture of you and they'll be like, hmm. No, the princess has long hair. And this girl has short hair, so it couldn't be her. Relocation. Where? Somewhere where General Cade will never think of looking for the princess of Costa Luna. In a bait shop. Welcome to Louisiana, Rosie. <laughs> nice advertising, dude. Um. It's a fish. <laughs> You saw a fish from distance, and that was worth a gasp. Go, sweetie. Oh, that woman actually looks like a bus driver. That's good casting. <laughs> what I do is complicated. What do you do? Why are you running a bait shop? All right, you're gonna win a word, say yes. Put me down, put me down. All right. You know what I hope for? I hope they don't become friends. I hope she tries to steal her dad for herself. You may help me prepare for bed. Are you gonna undress her? What the fuck? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just toss a plate of pizza? You're gonna stain the sheets. What? Are, what are you doing? Come on. Do they not have lizards where you're from? She's not actually holding a lizard, is she? She's gonna be a royal king. This hurts. This hurts to watch. I didn't even make a big deal about it. Because, like, I just know how bad this movie is. They had a close-up on her hand as she went to grab the, the gecko. Or the blizzard, whatever the fuck it was. I'm not an animal expert. We've been over this. So they have a close-up on a hand. And then when they cut back to Selena, she's holding it like this so you can't see it. Just be a good movie for two seconds. And actually have her grab the thing. You don't gotta coddle the Disney stars into not having to touch animals if it makes it more authentic. Because you didn't show it, it took me out of the movie. Well, I was already out of it, but... <laughs> Let me see it in her hand, I'll be like, oh, okay, that makes the scene feel real. Like she's actually a part of this environment. But instead she's like, oh, got the lizard, and you can't see it though. I'll go set it free. But I'm still not over that pizza toss. It's a waste of pizza, and you're gonna stain your sheets. Bye. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm Ed, by the way. You're. Don't touch him. He does weird things. May I have the seat? I'm sorry. I think it's school property. Oh, he's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. No, don't fucking high five him, bro. He he ain't cool. May I have the seat? I'm sorry. I think it's school property. You can't have the seat, cause I don't own it. <laughs> high five me, brother. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, no, he's attracted to her. He's gonna be a nip Sure. Why are you in high school, dog? You are 30. Mais l'anglais est mon favori, puisque je suis américaine. Est-ce que cela vous a plu? I think this movie would be more interesting if this entire... If all the conversations were in French. Muy bien. ¿Qué es eso? Carne misteriosa. I'm so happy that they're not speaking English. <laughs> the less I understand, the better the movie is. Oh no! Protagonist doesn't have a place to sit in the lunchroom. This is the first time I've ever seen a scene like this. Where is she gonna sit? This is such a relatable experience, but I've never seen another movie ever do anything like this before. Like this? Oh, gross. Why did you even put mustard on it? The three girls with the most votes will become your homecoming <laughs> princess. Hey, <laughs> wonder which three girls it could possibly be. <sighs> Can we stop cutting to that dude's shitty footage? I order you to stop. You enemy? 
You order me? Holy shit. Aw, sad Dan. How did her father die? What if he was part of the coup? What if her father was murdered by the general? Bro, can we see that plot? That's the interesting part. She's a fucking princess and I gotta watch her go through an ordinary high school experience in fucking Louisiana. Backwoods, Louisiana. Not even like Lafayette. Chores. I do not understand. No, of course not. I do not understand. How are you this fucking stupid? You're not like some tribal princess from the forest. You're a normal person. You don't have an accent, so I assume you've seen American media, American TV, stuff like that. You should know how to eat a hamburger and what chores are. Come on, you know it's a little funny. All right, here we go. No, laugh no I don't want to laugh. Yes. I don't want to laugh. I want to die. Thank you, but tonight I serve you. Oh, well, I'm not going to say no to that. Is she hitting on her dad? It is for you. For me? Mm -hmm. Damn. You know, I haven't had a real home-cooked meal since... Mom left. Ah, oh, where did Mom go? Was she assassinated because of your line of work? It must be nice to play peasant for a day. Well, fuck, chill your shit. Would you excuse me? <laughs> oh, that cut her so deeply. Get the fuck out of here. Not you, Demi. Come back. Let's finish at the scene. Ah, uh, dinner's fucking ruined. You'll be back with your servants and your personal chef and private tutor soon enough. Oh, she's resentful that she gets to live that life. There's, there's some depth. I'm from a small island nation called Costa Luna. Never heard of it. It is not on most maps. It's not even on a map? <laughs> is that how you'd explain away the logic? Why the fuck wouldn't it be on a map? If you have a kingdom and a princess, you, ha you have a royalty that's protected by this secret agency. It should be on a map. I love this place. What is it? It's a bowling alley. That's bowling. What'll it be? Bowling, please. Five and a half, coming up. But he knows her shoe size? Talk, that's such an intricate detail. Well, you shouldn't know that. Oh, I guess he works at the bowling alley. She's come here before. I'll give you a pass, Creeper, this time. He just seems like the kind of guy that would know her shoe size even if he didn't work at a bowling alley. You know what I'm saying? Your Highness? Mm. Why, thank you, Edward. Ed, what a little slut. This guy's a little slut. He just wants, he just wants any, he, what, he wants to touch her feet. That's what it is. Thank you, right, thank you. Get the fuck out of here, weirdo. Oh. Careful. Can this guy get his face beaten in with the bowling ball, please? I hope she walks down. If she goes, walks all the way down and just like smashes it, that would be so funny. Do the bit. Do the bit. There's only one thing to do I gotta put I gotta I gotta take a minute this is so fucking bad I've been totally in love with him since like the third grade when he kissed me under the basketball hoop is that what you want to hear I wonder if he is beautiful on the inside as well shall we bowl again tomorrow then I will help you you can't why not? Because it's mine. You can't God have- God damn it. Selena is so fucking annoying in this movie. She's just always angry. Can you fucking lighten up for two seconds? The opening scene. She doesn't get a ride. Upset. Someone's living with her. Upset. The person that's living with her is good at bowling. Upset. You have to wear this. Wait, she's getting a job? Wait, wait, wait. So they just got her a job with a cow hat? And they're gonna bring everyone there to be like, Oh, look at her, she's wearing a cow hat. She's not so attractive anymore. No one's gonna think that. No one from backwoods Louisiana has a superiority complex where they're like, Oh, you have a job and that's your uniform? You're not a person I enjoy anymore. They're gonna be like, good for you, making making that minimum wage. This? Also, can this guy stop with the camera? What are the odds that he jerks off to these videos? If you say over 90%, I think we're on the same page. I just want to do something more important with my life, like my dad. Yeah, he does sell some sick bait. <laughs> nice line. Okay, okay, I'm going around with this guy. <laughs> I swear to God. Why do people think falling is so funny? Kids are so stupid. 
What are you gonna do with that ice cream cone, huh? Wonder what's gonna happen here. Wonder what's gonna happen here. Oh, I thought she was gonna get the girl. Why is he holding it on his head? Oh, I gotta get this out of my hair. I should probably hold it in place. It's not like a fucking knife wound where you don't want to, if you pull it out, like it could cause more damage. I'd rather eat carbs than see her wearing my crown. Shut the fuck up. I don't eat carbs. I'm a villain. <laughs> fuck you. I'm ready to try. Good luck. What? <laughs> Belching? That... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that wasn't added in post-production. Hey guys, I have to burp. <laughs> ah, Sophia, come in, come in, come in. We have a great deal to discuss. Do you think well, it's too much? Why? She's the overthrown queen. And it's like, ah, come on and have a seat anywhere. And your princesses are oh, fuck. Chelsea Barnes, <laughs> Carter Mason. Oh my god, can't believe people voted. And who's the third one? And final princess is Rosie Gonzalez. No way! Ha! They voted for her to be one of the princesses? What? Oh my god, talk about a plot twist. So you know there's the homecoming dance and everything and uh... I want you to be my date for dance. Tawny, I'm just a girl who sells bait. No. Maybe if you baited him, he might like you more. <laughs> Satisfied with that one, guys. <laughs> oh my god, the dress montage. I can't believe we're doing this too. We're just gonna hit all the cliches. Oh my god. And the audience is people we have never seen before in the movie. Why? I wanna die. You're becoming a princess on the inside. And now you look like one too. I wonder if Justin Bieber ever watches this movie. <laughs> just a random thought. <laughs> Do you think that he has something that's really easy with lots of pictures? Oh, cool. I don't thank her or anything. Oh, she's gonna discover that she's a princess, really? Princess Rosalinda? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> she's flipped through three pages of that magazine. How do they even recognize her? She got a hair trim. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mason. Is Rosie home? Maybe, what's up? I've never heard of Costa Luna. Have you, Brookie? No, Chelsea. That's because it's not on the map. I feel like... My insides are eroding. I have a duty to my people, and this is something that you'll never understand. Oh, fuck. I haven't bought into any of this. I have a duty to my people. You don't have people. Man, I, I, you have to be like seven years old to buy into this plot. You think my life as a princess is some fairy tale? You're not a princess. Eh, I need some- just give me a murder. Get me back into this. Murder this fashion designer, dude. Ah! I don't even think this video is funny. It's just- it's sad. I'm just depressed. I don't even want to make jokes. I just want to- I want to die. I want a refund. Fine, what's in the box? Home what's in the box? Seven. There's a movie. <laughs> God, I need someone to die. I want that, just give out. I want that pure to give out. And they all drown to death. House of Beauty is open for business. What's the, what is the bus driver doing here? What is the bus driver doing with these kids outside of school? Wait, they're giving makeovers? Oh, there's gotta be more makeover scenes, of course. It's a Disney movie. Helen. All right, you're high. Why is he cool with the bus driver being here? Wait, it's a, it's a masquerade? What the fuck is going on? How old is this kid? Oh, dog, you are not a high schooler. Man, this this man over here looks like he's 30. This kid looks like he's 11. What is happening? What is the age? 
Maybe that dude was just held back because, you know, he's from Louisiana and he's not. Hey. Hello. Dog, it's a convertible. <laughs> the top's down. You know you can just reach and unlock it with your finger, right? It's not like there's a window up that's blocking you. How do you get stuck in a convertible? Oh my. This is a movie about a girl whose country was overthrown and the climax is this tiny middle school dance. Isn't this what you've been waiting for since like third grade? Before I put on- <laughs> Isn't this what you've been waiting for since third grade? What was it in the script? Third grade? Before since like third grade. Third Before? grade. <laughs> Why is this acting performance so bad? Oh, that's right. It's a Disney movie. It's tonight, but I'll always be big girl. I want you to be bait girl, if you know what I mean. No, Donnie. I don't think I am. Toodles. Toodles done. That grass on her lip is bothering the shit out of me. Can you wipe that grass off your lip? You look like a fucking cow. What are you chewing grass for? Oh, I love this song. Let's go dance. Why don't you two go ahead? Just stay out here and make sure no one gets in that dance unless they're students from Lake Monroe. Got it. Why don't you just kill her? Drown her in the pool. Why let her go? Why let her go? Go with me now, Princess. And no harm will come to your friends. Princess Rosie Gonzalez. Uh, how does this movie end? Actually, that's not the question I want to ask. When does this movie end? Dog, there's eight minutes left and there's still a coup that needs to be settled. That crown. Fucking why? 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 <laughs> General <Pig. laughs> There's no gunfight or anything. That's how it's for dog. This is so stupid. This. Oh yeah. I wonder if he's gonna be able to get away. I was thinking I'd be perfect bait. Ah. I'm bait girl. Ah, I had full circle fucking. You're always there for me. You're a good dad. You rescue princesses. I'm not even joking. I'm depressed after this movie. This movie made me really sad. I've never felt like this after a movie before. Last week I thought there could be no worse movie than Bratz. But this is worse. One year, don't flash for I don't care what happened. Everyone's a dead. Are you ready for your next assignment? Oh, I don't tell me there's a sequel. Carter, you can be such a princess. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I've done movies before and they they were like bad, but like it's all in fun being like, oh, I hate myself or whatever. This is the first movie I've ever watched where I literally feel sad. I feel sad. I don't even know if this is gonna be a good video because I was just sad the whole time. I own this movie too. And I can't, it's not like I can sell it off. Like it's digital. I just own it. I'm so sad right now. This movie broke my spirit.